I think our squad has, has shown throughout the year that they're a very resilient group of players who work very hard and it doesn't matter whether they've got injuries or no injuries or but you know except for last week against St Kilda every game we've, we've been in and we've really competed and, and that's what we got today and you know Port for particularly the first half were excellent around the contest and really gave us a hiding in clearances and contested footy and, and it felt like we weren't able to get our game going there and that's credit to them I think that they, they really beat us in the contest which um They've been good at all year, and it's a credit to Matthew and his team how well they played in that area today. Um, but once we started to get a little bit more control of the ball around the contest, I think uh, the game was able to be played on our terms more. Um, you know, and, and all credit to Port Adelaide, they, they played the game on their terms and, and put so much pressure on us that we, you know, we didn't use the ball well either. And once we started to handle that better, we, we played better. So a few of the players that were um, shadowed very closely. Yeah, I thought particularly Brent Stanton's game today where you know he didn't have a lot of the ball in the first half, but the second half to go to Broadbent, stop him, you know, I think Broadbent had 17 possessions in the first half and, and limit him to three or four in the second half, but also get the ball himself was a really pivotal part of the game and, and it's another thing that Brent's been working on is not just getting the ball but, but stopping someone. Um, you know, he's developed into a, uh, a quality player because he's added things to his game, which was good. Um, yeah, I think you've got to learn out of everything, and um, every game and the way you play. And, and we didn't. Um, I thought the first quarter against St Kilda was, was okay. Um, when you look back at the tape, we we just fell away after that. Um, we know we when we play the way we want to play, we can we can beat most teams. Um, and I think that today we, we played against a you know a team that wanted to show that they stood for something, and, and we s stood with them for a half and, and then kicked on. So it was good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm as pleased as he is. Don't worry. There's a lot of relief on Scott Cumberland's face in there t today. And you know, we played him not knowing what we we're going to get. Really, we knew he was fit. We knew he was ready to go. But he hadn't played over football for almost two years. And when a guy's been out of it for that long, particularly bigger guys, um, it, it does take a long time to come back in. But you know, the, the mark and goal. I think it was the first quarter he kicked and just got him in the game. He competed. He contested. And it, it wasn't the best on the ground by any stretch of the imagination. But he showed that. He's going to be a very good player um, if he can just get some consistency with his training, his playing. And the beauty, and as I said to him after the game, we needed him to stand up because we lost a couple of forwards, and he did. So it was great. Were you surprised with his outfit? Uh, I'm not, I don't know. I was I surprised? I didn't know what to expect. I mean, I, unfortunately, we haven't been out of coach Scott since we got here. It's the first game he's played since we've been a coaching group. So I've played with him but not, not coached him, and um, I was just you know, very impressed by what we saw. Uh, well, one I sit up in the box, and the next one I'm kicking it to him. So um, I don't know. It's just, it's just totally different. Yeah, he's a terrific bloke. He's a terrific guy, Scott. Um, and I, we're just very happy for him. As I said, he is a very, very talented footballer. And for this football club, that was a remarkable result out there today. Tim James, did you see it as Essendon taking three quarters to get your method operating? Or was it really a surprising capitulation by Port? Oh, there's no capitulation. Um, we played Port last round of last year. We won by a narrow margin. The game was very close. We played them in round two. Won by a narrow margin. The game was very close. We knew what we were going to get with Port. And I don't think Port have got the, the results or even the credit for the way they've changed the game around this year. Their contested footy and the way they work around the football is outstanding. Very hard around the football. And um, they beat us in that area for probably two and a half quarters. Some of you, uh, that's the lights I thought stood up, and perhaps no more than the next year. Yeah, well, Mark um, can speak for himself, but uh, first game, and you know, spent a lot of time playing VFL football with Frankston, also with um, with Essendon, um, and showed as though he, he he should have probably been playing two years ago. I think one of the great things about our system is that we, we pick kids up at 18, and there's lots of great young talent out there, but we miss kids like Mark. And, I thought today he was he was terrific for us and you know, definitely showed that he's ready to play for football. How did you find Yeah, I really enjoyed the game. It's been a childhood dream of mine since I was young, so it was just exciting to get your first game. Did anything surprise you in the game? Um, 
Yeah, well, the, the pace surprised me, but I knew it was going to be quick and um, quick and a strong, strong pace football. So, uh, no, but I really enjoyed it. Yeah, there's a payoff between um, getting guys fit who haven't been at AFL level before and injuries. And, you know, it's, a, it's an ongoing debate how hard you work your players. But the one thing we want to do with this squad is get them to a point that when we get a chance, when we're good enough in big games, in finals, whenever it is, we can beat the best teams. And if you're not fit enough and if you're not strong enough, you can't do it. So we're, we're doing that with our players. Now, will it be this year or next year or the year after? I'm not sure. But we're going to continue to work hard, and our players will continue to work hard. So when our opportunity comes, we can take it. Not very bad at all. Maybe Hibbard might be a week, and I think Remus is just tight. So we've pretty much got through unscathed, which is which is good. More precautionary with both of them than um, than anything else. But as has happened, you know, as has happened with Paddy during the week, and, and uh, he had nothing after the game. It's just come on slowly during the week. So. Unfortunately, the game is so hard now that things creep up on you and we just have to be very careful over the next you know, three or four days of our players. Do you hope to get anyone back next week? We get Stu Cramery back. We get uh, Angus Monfries back. Jason Windlick has now played two games. Mark McVeigh played today. Um, so there's there's four guys who played a lot of senior footy that you know will put their hands up where they will come in, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's exciting to get some players coming one in rather than out. James, the crowd was small and not particularly passionate. Do you think that uh, meant the Port didn't have a particularly strong home team advantage? Uh, oh, you'd have to ask Matthew that, that question. I thought that the Port, the Port crowd got up and going when they, they got in front. I felt like the Port crowd were up and going. Um, the good thing about being an Essendon team is that wherever you go, you've got support and, and our supporters get behind us. So I thought we had good representation today, but oh, you'd have to ask Matthew that question, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks very much.